Hello. I uh, wanted to take a few minutes and go over some of the stuff that I carry when I uh, am out and about. Uh, this is one of the things that I carry with me a lot. I don't always have it on my belt, but I usually have it pretty close to my person, usually in a vehicle or uh, whatnot. I like to carry it when I go camping, and basically all it is is a, a cell phone case that I put stuff in besides my cell phone. I can put it on my belt with this nice clip here, or it also has a, a, a place where you can slide it through your belt. So there's two different ways to attach it, and it'll also go on one at, uh, so you can clip it, you can slide your belt through this way, or you can slide your belt through this way, carrying it in like a scalp position, whatever. Um, I've changed it a little bit. I took the original clasp off, and I put one of the clasps on that has the ferrocium rod and striker uh, clip. I'm sure a lot of you have seen those. Uh, it's got a whistle on the side. But with that all aside, uh, inside, this is one of the things that I carry. And what this is called is a stadia. A stadia is, uh, well, to describe it best, I would say it's kind of like a range finder from the revolutionary period. Um, Basically, it's just a brass uh, mechanism, like you see here, and then it's got a cord attached to it. This happens to be jute, and uh, you can see it's got a little piece that slides right here. Basically, uh, the best I can uh, ascertain from what I've looked at is this must have been something like uh, the sights, the front sights on a uh, like a cannon during the Revolutionary period. Uh, looks a lot like the sights that you would find on like a Sharps rifle. And this slide, what it does <coughs> is at an arm's length, so you hold it out at your arm's length and uh, put it to the corner of your mouth. So you always have it at the exact same distance, just like a kisser button on when you're shooting a bow. So you can hold it out there, and then you look through this thing, this uh, opening here. And what it's designed for is if you have something, and you use the measurements of the times. So in, in today's world, you would be looking at probably an, a, an average height of about six feet for a normal person. So you take a six-foot person and have them stand at various distances, known distances, and then you could hold this out, and the slide, you put the top of their head at the bottom of the slide, and the bottom of their feet at the bottom of the opening here, down here. So when you're looking through it, holding it here, you look through it, a six foot tall person would go from the top of their head here to the bottom of their feet here, and then Wherever that mark is, you would mark it on, on the bracket itself. And where that six-foot-tall person fills the top and bottom of that uh, sight block, you have that mark, and it tells you that's the distance that they are at uh, that elevation. And as they get further apart, of course, they get smaller and smaller and smaller with uh, perpetual vision. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it actually has two sides. You've got this side here and the back side. You can use that for two separate markings. So what I've done is at that one distance, right here, I will have, let's say, at 70 yards, that is a six foot tall person. But if you turn it over, I've done it, set it up instead of six feet, I've got it set up for 30 inches. <clears throat> now, if you can see here, hopefully it'll show up. Yeah. You can see the 100 yards, 200 yards, 300 yards, whatever. That gives you a range for how far that six foot tall person is, right? On the back side, I don't have marks inscribed yet, but that's coming very soon. On the back side, I've set it up for 30 inches. And 30 inches is the average height from the bottom of the feet to the point of the shoulder of a normal white-tailed deer. So 
when I hold this out at that distance, I can hold it up and that'll give me the range at how far away a uh, white-tailed deer is. So basically this is Revolutionary War era rangefinder. It's called a Stadia and uh, comes in really handy and uh, very, very accurate with a little bit of practice. But uh, set it up just like you do a kisser button on your bow. Set up your markings and each one of them is going to be different for each person. That's why you can set up your markings yourself. But uh, anyway, that's a Stadia and how to use it. Thanks for watching. If you found any of this information helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave your comments. Uh, they're always welcome. And uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.